Hello there and welcome to episode number 14 of my FIFA 21 Road to Glory series with Barrow. We've been on an incredible run recently, winning game after game and this has taken us to within touching distance of the playoff spots. This season is almost a mirror of last season as our new players are starting to settle in and the others are starting to perform at this level. A win in this next game could take us right into those playoff spots. A bit of a shameless plug now as I've started to stream the games in between these videos on YouTube, so please consider joining me in the future. I advertise all of my streams on my social media and therefore check out the links in the description to follow me and join us for some fun. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and chuck the video a like. So let's have a quick look then at the um, previous games that we've been playing. The last game was against Doncaster where we lost 4-2 and since then we haven't looked back really. Um, we won against Charlton, drew against Portsmouth. Uh, unfortunately we lost the game against Fleetwood 3-0, that was a, a really poor performance. But then after that, it's been win after win after win, including uh, and a pretty much incredible thing so far in this whole series, where the clean sheet against Oxford there, winning 1-0 uh, at home. That was um, something that was completely surprising to me, I must admit. After that then, uh, we've also won in the Cup and got a great result against MK Dons, a 3-1 win there as well. And today we play against Sunderland away. I think in the last video we were sat around 17th spot, uh, a couple of points above the relegation zone and now we are level on points with the uh, teams in the playoffs so a massive upturn in form um, and like I said already that a win here will put us into those playoff spots more than likely. Still um, we've conceding goals, scoring goals but we have kind of tightened up in that defence as well which, which has made a massive difference. So as I said already, we've got Sunderland away now, um, one of the bigger names in League One. I'm su surprised myself that they're still down at these levels, they were a Premier League team not too long ago. But um, we've got a chance now to, to make a real stamp on this league and push ourselves higher and higher. Hello, wherever you happen to be around the world, this is the scene here at the Stadium of Light. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And all about action from League One coming right up. From the rule so this Sunderland team then, you expect them to be pretty strong. Um, they're not doing great in the league, but they've always got a good, good team, good players. Um, there's a few, few pretty, pretty well-known names in there. Max Power is a, is a well-known one. Um, but also they've got players like um, Will Grigg on the bench as well to come on and, and really cause us some problems. In terms of our team then, um, we've pretty much got a settled team now. Uh, the, back, the back five uh, are pretty much our strongest players. Story and Chumi are our, our two newer signings. Um, we've got Ricky J. Jones back now as well with the Chari up front, scoring goals and doing what they do. You'd expect one of those midfield players to push forward and support the this is the scene. I never thought I'd have this, but I, I'm expecting a win here. I, I must admit, against, against a strong Sunderland team away from home, a point would be um, OK, but I don't really am looking for those three points just to push us up into those player spots. Pretty solid start so far. Um, we've put some nice passes together, but I haven't really created an awful amount. Battling away there, Gribbins battling. Puts the ball into Harkar, so he's got a chance now. Cross the ball. Falls to Achari and it's a good header. Let's see if Achari can continue his good form from corners. Now it's gone straight to Chumi. Chumi has a header and it's gone just wide. Sutherland working a nice little bit down that uh, left wing of theirs. And put a nice ball through but it. Just kept it in but I oh, thought we were going to get there and get the clearance in. But again they're working it in. They've managed to work it into the box now just to try and get their blocking tackle in. It's a nice challenge there from Turnbull and we lay it out for a counter attack. Sunderland again getting some good good possession in, in between the lines. Oh, they've managed to work a really nice ball through. Probably went the, went the wrong way a little bit there. I thought he was going to lay it on, but it's the, this time they could get a shot away, and they do. And it's a decent save there from Dixon. But again, we've got a defender. They've had a good little spell of pressure, Sunderland. Put the ball in, see if we can get that clearance away. But falls falls to one of their players. Try and get that block in, and it's a good 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 bit of defending. Giving him any breathing room. Jones. Just trying to trying to make it so we can overlap on the uh, out on the wings. That's where we, we create most of our chances. But achari has got plenty of space. He has a shot. But it's a good block from the defence. And again, we just can't seem to create anything, any real chance. They seem to be getting a lot of um, joy down at that left hand side. We've got a rapid player out there. Gooch sticks the ball in. It's a good defending header sure there, but again, they, they've caught up the extra ball. Power has a go from the outside of the box. 
and smashes into that top left-hand corner. And it's 1-0 to Sunderland and probably deserved. You get punished. So 1-0 then, like I said, probably deserved. Uh, we haven't really created anything real, real good clear-cut chances, but we'll keep plugging away. Nice little ball through there, and the Charis on the ball. He's got a chance to run it. They've got players overlapping, and Mitty has got a chance to put a decent ball in. Should have put it near post, unfortunately. He went far post, and Jay Jones couldn't quite get there. This is the last thing we need now. We don't. We, we can't afford to concede another goal. Sunderland put the ball in. Power again, but this time the head is just wide. A little bit of a let off there for us. It's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Just need to get all this boy out here. Maybe we can make a chance here just before half time with minutes left of added time. We'll try and no, Jones has been blocked off there, but we let it through to him anyway. And he lays it through the Gribben. Gribben's thrown goal now. He's got a chance to put it across the keeper. He does. Bottom right hand corner. It's one all just before half time. A chance to revisit the goal. In that last kind of 10 minutes, we've uh, we've managed to create a few little chances. So I suppose one all was probably a fair result at half time, and we go again in the second half. Underway then in the second half, and the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Barry. I really don't want to miss this opportunity to get into those playoff spots, so try and create some more chances. This time, Lund lays a nice ball into Achari, and it's a golden opportunity, and he's blasted it over the top of the bar. Not what you'd expect from a 23 goal striker so far. Gooch again is causing us problems down that left hand side. You need to get a good challenge in there. Well, he's managed, he managed to push him back, so he's, he's going to let it back. But this time, oh, almost a dodgy challenge going in there. Oh, he's skewed that one wide. That, that was a golden opportunity. We've ridden our luck a little bit, but 10 minutes into the second half, we've got a chance now to get Barry out on the running at them. Lays it into Achari. Achari lays it into Hardcastle. Again, into C. And C's puts it wide. One of the struggles we're really having at the moment is um, our players are exhausted. But we, we've only really got a kind of strong 14 players, I think, in this league. So we have to play the first 11 pretty much all the time. Litty already 62 minutes and he's absolutely exhausted. But we've got to keep him on. This time Archari's been a nice little run. He's got a chance to put it across the keeper. He does. It's in the bottom left-hand corner. It's a fantastic goal. And it's 2-1 two to, two to Barrow. certainly wasn't messing around was he absolutely smashes it past the keeper it's a really lovely finish so there we have it two one we've defended really well and um, we've kept Sunderland to only a few real chances even though they've had more of the ball and we're two one up with about 25 minutes left to go on the clock far from a smooth challenge Will the referee produce a card? And the offence sufficient is here. So a quick call, quick throw in there. Barry's got a chance. He could work some kind of a uh, movement in there. Harcastle lays it into C. C lays it nicely to Clifford. His first touch, bottom corner. Fantastic finish. Nice little curl effort into that bottom corner. Three one, and hopefully now we're not going to throw this one away. We have been really clinical in this game. Uh, a couple of opportunities we should have scored, maybe, but I think we've, we've finished some good goals there. 
great challenge there and another chance to get a good counter attack they've pushed players forward so sees through on goal now he's got to score surely now it's a good save and he's missed the rebound as well oh dear so into the last 10 minutes then and Litty's made it ball into C C's waiting for Achari to make a move but he's actually he's opened up nicely for him he has a shot bit of a P roller and on the ground and he misses the target Got to watch out for these kind of counter-attack breaks. There's a lovely ball through there to Maguire. But they've got to get players up for it. Oh, I thought I was going to give away a penalty there. And thankfully, I don't... Oh, it's... he's given away a pen, but it's one of those ones where you kind of press the header button and because it's changed, he's gone for a slight tackle instead. And he's just chopped him down. It is a pen, but it's an unfortunate one, really. So see if we can... Dixon can save it. Stop it going 3-2. Oh, he's blasted it. Well wide. And that's pretty much summed up their day, I think. Well, they couldn't score from the penalty spot. We're into added time now. Just try and keep the ball. Maybe create one more chance. Clifford's made a nice little run inside. He can lay it into to Achari. Achari's got a chance to make it two in the game. And he has done that. Bottom left-hand corner. 4-1. And we are on our way to the playoffs. That goal from Achari there really was the icing on the cake and I think that's probably going to be it now. Uh, we've got about 20 seconds left of this game. It's been a really good, good away performance I think. We've taken our chances, limited theirs and hopefully that's us in the playoffs. Well, I was hoping for some kind of late playoff push, maybe later on in the season, but it turns out we're, we're doing it a little bit earlier than expected. We're not quite halfway through, but we're sat nicely in sixth spot there. Um, we could actually make a few uh, a few inroads in this league and potentially even even push ourselves maybe up into the championship for next year. Well, I'm going to play a few more games. I'm probably going to get myself up to the um, the end of December. Um, just before the January transfer window opens. All those games are going to be on my streams, so I'd love it if you guys want to come and come and join in on those. Like I said before, check out the social media and I'll, and I'll link the um, the streams as well as when I can. But please, please come and join me for those. I'm going to enjoy this run as long as it can last for, I think. it's um, When it comes to that kind of Christmas period, we're probably going to see us struggle with a lack of squad depth. But hopefully we can stay in and around that area and, and obviously looking to hit that target with the board of set of mid-table. Um, anything higher than that is just an absolute bonus. Um, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was a good game, I thought. And um, I'd love to, uh, to hear your views in the comments. And as I said before, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and chuck this video a like. And I'll see you all in the next video.